Sniper Elite VR has landed on the Oculus Quest. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Mothership. It may be obvious, but Sniper Elite VR is a combat shooter with a heavy focus on sniping. It's a single-player, mission-based campaign that's woven together through stories of an old man remembering his time on the battlefield. This is done really nicely, and I don't want to spoil anything, so you'll have to check out the full experience, but here's a sample. Freedom. Peace. Forty years ago, the world this place were very different. Not a day passes when I do not think of that time, when I'm not thankful that I am still here. I wanted to touch on that first because it's something I think is lacking from many VR experiences, and I think it really adds to the immersion as I felt invested in the missions as opposed to just clearing out baddies and racking up kills. Now, one of the first things I noticed when hopping into this game is that the graphics are really nice. Everything from the gun in your hand to the environment around you is detailed and textured. It's not mind-blowing or anything, but it doesn't have that dumbed-down graphic feel that I see in so many Quest titles. Playing this on the Quest 2, I have no complaints in the visual department. Now, this game lives and dies by its sniping. It's not only a sniping game, there are missions where you use other weapons for closer quarters, but most of the time you will be wielding a sniper rifle, and I'm pleased to say that the sniping is incredibly satisfying. The game employs a useful mechanic where you can slow down time and get an extra bump of zoom by holding the left trigger to hold your breath. This not only allows you to add precision to your kills, but dramatically builds up every shot. Landing a hit will often trigger an x-ray slow-mo of the bullet piercing through the enemy, which is glorious to see in the 3D space of VR. Seriously, I could watch these forever. As the shot rips through their body, bones shatter, intestines get ruptured, and even eyes get popped. I can't overstate how cool this is in VR, as this is something you can't just fully appreciate on a flat screen. Now, when it comes to the reloading mechanics, Sniper Elite utilizes a more realistic approach where you have to unload the empty clip, grab ammo from your belt, put it into the gun, and cock it back to load around into the chamber. This all works well, but does take some getting used to, especially if you're used to simplified reloading from a game like Population 1. Each gun is a little different, and the reloading motions are more specific. The bolt on this sniper rifle, for example, must be pulled up and then back to discharge an empty shell, then back forward and down to load the new round after every shot. This may be a bit frustrating at first for gamers who aren't used to it, but after some time in the game, these motions become second nature until you pick up a new weapon you aren't familiar with. I'm actually glad the game has this, as discharging a spent round with a bolt-action rifle feels so satisfying after ripping a shot through an enemy's skull. As I said before, most missions you are in sniper mode, but there is the occasional one where you have to navigate through enemy bases using SMGs and pistols. This is nice to see, but it's very focused on being stealthy and not alerting the nearby soldiers. I'm not a huge fan of this, probably because I'm not very good at it. I've never been into stealthy games like Metal Gear. I prefer to run and gun, but if being sneaky is your jam, you might find this quite enjoyable. I get why they did it this way, as you are a sniper, so being a frontline commando isn't exactly your forte, but as I said, it's not really for me. You can run and blast away if you like, it's just much more difficult. Taking your time and picking people off is the way to go here. The game has plenty of different weapons in its arsenal, several sniper rifles from bolt action to semi-automatic, along with multiple SMGs and pistols. Grenades and launchers are present as well, and even blocks of TNT you can throw and shoot from a distance. The diversity here is great, and there's enough to get creative with your destruction, even when sitting in a sniper's nest. One thing I was worried about was that the sniping would be too easy, but this just isn't the case. There is skill required. 
Things like steadying your hands and pulling the trigger slowly will go a long way to improving accuracy and landing headshots. As you may see by the often shaky scope shots in this video, they don't dampen your motion a whole lot here, which although might not make the best video on YouTube, does add enough skill to make shots feel real and satisfying. Overall, I felt really immersed in this game. The graphics and realistic reloading made me feel part of the action, and for the first time in a while, it felt strange coming back into reality after a long play session. As a whole, I was impressed with this game, and I think the $30 price tag is warranted. It's not a screaming deal or anything, but it's definitely worth it. I don't think $30 is a lot to pay for a good VR experience like this. I'd say it's priced right where it should be. So that's all I got on Sniper Elite VR on the Oculus Quest. Thank you so much for supporting this channel with your time. Hit that subscribe button for more VR content in your feed. Let the algorithm know VR is alive and well. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.